All right, so I had planned on making a video a lot sooner than this, but I was pretty fucking busy. But as you can see, I chopped these five down, threw them in the herbs now dryer. Um, I don't know, man. That shit is iffy with me. It, I've never, I've only used it twice. First time was with the sour diesel. Um, only had the first tray field and I trimmed before, so I wet trimmed it and threw it in there, stopped it a day early and it was still too dry. So I hit him up, I'm like, hey man, my shit dry, what's up with this? You said, let it go, let it rock for four, hour, uh, four days. He's like, it's impossible to over dry it. Well, it's not impossible, so just be aware of that. Uh, so with this shit, I had all my trays filled except one, but I had to remove the insert um you know because the super lemon haze buds were they're not even they weren't even dense so i, I just didn't want to smash them or any of the the leaf leafy product or uh, whatever the fuck you want to i'm high so I, I say this every time why do i smoke right before i do the video but whatever one take um so i had all my trays in there basically and I still ended up stopping it a day early. I let it rock for three days. Um, the burger seemed a little wet. Like it could have went a little longer, but the rest were bone dry. So I went, not bone dry, but it'll come out nicely in a cure probably. Uh, I smoked all of them except the Afghan skunk. Um, pretty nice, pretty hard hitting. Of course, I'm looking for a more potent smell, but Anyway, <clears throat> so I cut those down. Well, not because of this, but this is what I got started right now. So I have that top that I cut from the, which was that? From the sour. I don't know if it's, it's still green and it's been maybe a week or so. So I'll go ahead and leave it. Continue to miss the uh, cup every day, every, you know, every, for it to be morning and night but I did have this mat going and then when I cranked it on it got up to like 89 degrees and I'm like oh fuck that and so now it's sitting at a 84 and 55 um, 81 up there so that's fine this is a it's an auto flower uh, northern lights auto flower I figured I'll have this going because, you know, while my other ten is going, the other ones were set back by damn near a fucking month. Like, oh my god, the fucking fungus gnats. But I'm not sure if I showed this shit in the last video. This is what I use to kill the larva for the of the fungus gnats. Um, so they were saying, my dumbass. I was looking up what to do for them and they were saying put the sand on top so that the fungus gnats wouldn't be able to climb down and get into the dirt well you still have to kill the fucking larva and this is what you use mosquito bits and the active ingredient is a fucking bacillus something bacillus tea and oh i think maybe i did show this but basically you put that in there and water it and uh, fungus is released or the beneficial bacteria is released they go out seek the dumbass larva and all that. so <clears throat> i did that in the small pot so while these were the ones that were in the nine small pots so i i you know watered the mosquito bits in and waited 24 hours I think I may, may have waited 48, no, I think it was 24 hours and then I did a transplant. Um, and as I transplanted, I put more bits in the dirt that I was putting the shit in and put some on top, top dressed it. So I'm almost certain the, the fucking fungus gnats are, are gonna be on their way out, especially because all the new growth is doing pretty good. <clears throat> so, the Mendocino Chanel is doing really well. Go ahead, cut that off in a couple days.
raise it, so I'm gonna let it rock. I just transplanted them maybe three days ago. And I went ahead and set up my blue mat watering system, like I was telling you. So it's running out of the reservoir, coming through there. And it'll start, that'll be the first, no, this will be the first one, the Chanel goes around, makes a full loop, and then it cuts through right here. And you basically set them up by doing the last one first and going around and ending with the first one, which I fucked up because I don't even want to get into it. But I fucked up because I started with this one thinking that was the last one. As you can see, that's the fucking first. So I think I, I got it fixed and got all the air out of the tube because that would have been a problem. And I haven't seen any reservoir run arrays, so... That's good. Let me check this one. This one. Well, I'll do it later. Oh, no, that's not. It would look, look a little. Let's see. And the way it works is you open it. Oh, that's close, babe. Well, you open it until it drips, and then you turn it until the drip hangs. You hold that drip and then you turn it two more triangles. Two more of those and then let it, and then it's set basically. <clears throat> so like I was saying, got the Mendocino Chanel, the Master Kush that's doing well. A fucking Blueberry is doing well. The sour, it was light when I did the, as, as in the color. It was light when I was transplanting it, so hopefully it bounced back with the, um, what fucking soil is this? Coast of Maine, Stonington blend. Uh, the Girl Scout cookies, doing good. Super skunk, not so good, but I know all of that shit was there you know, as I was treating for the gnats. So we'll see what this um, the new growth doesn't look too well either. God damn. But I really wasn't excited about this super skunk. <clears throat> the Alaskan purple tips looking a little brown, but whatever. We rock it out. The cheese. Uh, the tips on the new growth are not looking good. Obviously, the bottom is not. This was the cheese that I had rocking. For some reason, it wasn't affected by the <clears throat> fungus net. So, I get back to that. And what is this? Gelato G. It's looking really nice. So, I might only end up having to get rid of the cheese. Or I might not get rid of, but have issues with the cheese. The super scum. Maybe the sour. But, other than that looking pretty good um turn the lights up well turn the qb 96s up just a tad bit after i think two days so i didn't want to shock it to the point where I, I didn't want them to suffer at all so i just crank it up a little bit and i'll crank it up some more slightly turn it in the next couple of days and until I get up to, you know, <clears throat> the full power and then go ahead and start raising them as they grow. Uh, but back to the cheese. This is auto cheese from Seedsman. Oh, wait, what the fuck is this? Yeah, auto cheese from Seedsman. Wasn't a freebie, but yeah, they're coming in nicely. Put this. looking good and then shit, I just transplanted them but maybe next week I'll go ahead and feed it a tea feed all of them a tea um, a nice I don't know I guess I'll make a veg tea just because they're still vegging I'm not trying to overdo it 
and I'll, I'll just give it to the, the cheese as well. But now go ahead, stack up. Fuck it. Stack the fuck up. So I gotta call Blue Matt because some of these drippers aren't holding the drip, but I do see evidence that they've been dripping. So that's good. But what I was doing with this is that felt a little light. So, you know, what's up? Is, is it working or not? Well, we'll see if they're working in a week or so because that's how I found out the other ones were working. I looked up and I hadn't watered those plants in like two weeks, three weeks, and they were still going. So, <clears throat> hopefully these are the same way. I don't have any runaways with the fucking reservoir. And yeah, man, this shit looks... Minus all the dead shit, it looks great. Um, so hopefully, um, get some, well, I got some good shit out the lab, out the harvest. I just, you know, I was getting the, the I don't know, you know, but the OG is nice. The Afghan skunk is nice. Uh, the burger, of course, is nice. The cheesecake is nice. The fucking super lemon haze smells like... It smells like garlic, like some garlic breath. Like I'm, I would imagine garlic breath, that strain smells similar to this shit. So I almost don't even want to call it super lemon haze. I'm going to call it what the fuck I want to call it. Afghan skunk, it has a sweet smell. Remember I was saying that that shit didn't smell at all. And I'm I'm getting I got very little amount, um, all over at least a eighth, at least a tray five. But so I got well that's the sour, my first harvest. Um, the OG. I mean I've smoked some of all of this shit. So, but again you saw the little ass plants before they were harvested. And I'm not showing you this to show the buds, but I'm just showing the amount. This is the cheesecake. The cheesecake smells nice. It smells like cheese. The burger smells like um, the dominant side, which was the Mandarin line. Not exactly sure what a good nine pound hammer smells like, but. I don't know, this is burger, but. This is curing, so, and the shit smells, it still, it doesn't smell like grass, so that's, or hay, so that's great. Um, and if it's going into curing, smelling good, then it's only going to get better as you, you know, burp the jars and shit. So the burger, hands down, the best shit I've grown so far. So I'm going to shout out to um, B for, you know, cultivating it producing it and shit and um, Danny from Vegas for sending that shit out to me. Um, what else I'm gonna show you? I'll show you this cheesecake. The OG does look nice. Smoked some last night with my girl, and she came in all giggly and talking about, man, this this is some really good stuff. I mean, I'm I was high and I was high for a nice little minute. I know I smoked some yesterday morning and I was high. I'm like I'm still high and yeah, so shit is nice. It's just I need the smell. I need the the smell. I need it to be more crystally for me, but it, it, it's definitely better than anything I could buy as far as like not tasting chemicals and stuff like that. That was my biggest issue. It wasn't that this shit wasn't getting me high, but I can literally taste the, the whatever they were using to grow the shit. I could taste it. it. It wasn't being flushed. And now I'm learning that a lot of, you know, 
big growers, large, large grow, uh, big, larger companies, they grow with salt-based nutrients, but they flush properly. So when you flush properly, then you have a better product. When you don't flush at all, when you have these growers just harvesting shit and doing whatever, they don't care what, what's going on and they don't flush and all that shit is just built up and that shit comes out in the buds. And if you haven't smoked, you know, clean weed, then you wouldn't know the difference. And obviously I didn't know the difference because once I started smoking this, and I tried to go back, that shit was not what's up. So hopefully that shit, that, that sour, I had a half of half ounce and that lasted me until my next harvest mainly because i was dabbing every day i wasn't really smoking that shit but now i have six jars of weed so um the super lemon haze gave me like 20 g's um the burger gave me 15 so i had like maybe 50 g's in total which ain't shit i'm make me feel like i'm wasting my time but i gotta do this shit in order to learn so i'm gonna keep this shit going and hopefully i'm gonna grow these plants i want to grow these plants i want these to be four foot plants when they're as they're flowering so i want to grow them to three feet i'm working with six a six foot tent this is in the way so the lights are hanging down just under this so it'll be a foot loss and then I need a foot in between my lights. And that gives me four feet left. So I need them to be at least three and a half to four feet tall. Um, if they, they, they will fill out because I'm gonna be topping them as they go. I wanna do these for another two, three weeks, maybe a month if I need to, and get them up to this, this level. Uh, top them multiple times. And then scroll through these bitches. Uh, never scrolled, but we're gonna go ahead and do it and see how that works. And I really, I, well, my problem with scrolling at first was I wouldn't be able to rotate my plants. But as you can see, I'm not gonna be able to rotate them anyway because I got all these lines attached. So they can only turn only so much. So um, I'm not. But I say they can only turn only so much. They can only turn ever so much, whatever. But yeah, this this is where I got going now. Hopefully in a week, these motherfuckers then broke out and went crazy and explosive growth. I don't know. And maybe I won't have to veg out for another three weeks because that's that's killing me. I just wasted a whole three weeks not treating the fucking fungus mat gnats so oh boy that shit is killing me but still learning all right that's it for this one. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> got my bins coming so that's good these looking like a decent size fuck go for me gonna work yeah, so these decent size for now these are the B plus the GTs aren't coming in yet which is crazy because that was what the fuck are you looking at that was a lot more even than up here and I would think that well nature isn't even the ground isn't even so why the fuck would I think that mattered but got those coming up. Um, just just got rid of a quarter pound. That was nice. So I'm gonna pay off my goddamn car note. Yee. All right, that's it for this one.